probably have not noticed the three secret tricks of Victor's forehand volley. Victor Ruiz is the player number 27 in the ranking, so do you want to learn how to do the forehand volley like him? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. So let's start at the beginning how he prepares the shot. The position is the standard one. The weight of his body is placed on the tips of his feet with his knees bent. A position similar but not the same as the one you adopt when you are going to make a golf swing. Almost a similar position. Golf. Paddle. Something really important here is that you should never guess where the ball is going to go. It will always be much better if, once you have seen where the ball is going to go, you act and move for the ball. Here Victor does a really nice forehand volley and, as he is practically stuck to the fence and his forehand volley was directed to the middle, it is most likely that the opponent's return was directed to the middle too. However, the opponent directs the ball to Victor's backhand volley, so if you notice, Victor moves the racket to the right by guessing it, so he has to correct the position and loses time and strength in that process. This is a very common mistake in beginner's players, so always try to react and not guess. When Victor starts to do the movement, he opens his right shoulder, which means that Victor turns his shoulders first. It is very important to be able to do a movement with the whole body and not only with the arm. And now comes one of today's key tips, Victor's racket movement. Pay attention to how in the whole process of shoulder movement and shot preparation the top of the racket is always pointing at the sky. Victor never moves his racket horizontally, he moves vertically. But what is the forehand volley movement like? I always like to explain it in the simplest way. It is almost the same as when you do a stone skipping in a lake. Do you remember the last time you went to a lake and threw a stone and see how many times it bounced? Remember that moment the next day on court and you will improve your forehand volley. But I was wondering if this video can have 400 likes. In the case of Padel, here comes another of the keys to Victor's forehand volley, the height. Notice that Victor always has his racket higher than the height of the ball coming toward him. Preparing the shot this way, Victor gets a slice effect when hitting the ball and makes his ball more difficult for the opponent. If you have learned something today or you just love Padel, don't forget to subscribe and join the community. However, the turf of the court that professional players use is special and it is not easy to win points with your volley because it bounces more than usual. For that reason, Victor tries to make his volley bounce a little bit before the white line. In this way, he will generate confusion for his opponent on whether he has to hit the ball before or after the bounce on the glass. So how to do this? Pay attention to where the ball is going and raise your elbow. So don't be lazy, raise your elbow and do a forward movement and not a downward one. And how do we manage to react in time? The key is in your legs. It is called split step and it's that little jump that players do all the time to be more attentive. You will have less reaction time if you do it like a goalkeeper in football. And how to get more control in our forehand volley? Look at Victor and how he never extends his arm away from his body. He always tries to be a pack. The strength and speed of the ball are not going to be given by the arm, but by our body. That's why it's so important to move when we hit and not just our arm. The origin of the force comes from our legs and our core. By moving forward at impact, we are moving many kilograms of weight that will allow us to add more speed to the ball without losing control. Notice that Victor moves his left foot forward to do balance and transfer the weight to the ball. The exact moment when our left foot should touch the ground is at the moment of impact with the ball. Don't move forward before because you will be off balance when you hit the ball. And don't move after because it will not make sense. Move forward at the moment of the shot. Victor prepares the shot with the racket above the head of the ball, but the angle of impact of his racket to the ball is not straight. He hits the ball with the racket slightly turned to add more spin. What to do when you hit? Recover your position and be ready for the next ball. Please always be ready for the next ball. And remember, don't try to guess, always try to react. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see you in the next one. Ciao!